Hi guys, Retro Django here. Now, if you follow my channel, you can see that my last video I showed that I bought this disk drive. So uh, this is the first test, first time I'm gonna turn it on. Uh, this is new. This machine is new. I have never po powered them on. The the Commodore 64 C's PSU came with this one, but of course I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna power it up with a known working um, PSU. This machine has not been powered on since 1991 and please do not just give them uh, uh, power with the old PSUs before you test the, the voltage because if the 5 volts is uh, lower is bad but it's much uh, sometimes it's, it's much higher uh, 6 or 7 volts then it will destroy the, the chips inside the machine so um, yeah. But this one, I uh, will check the exits, <laughs> as you can see, because um, I don't know if it's special, but I will check that uh, you can see one gives five volts and number five will give 12 volts. So I will check that first and uh, if it's all right, then I will plug that in also. Um, and usually I never ever plug in a Commodore 64 before I opened it all the way down and check everything but this one that I just got in today has never been opened and uh, I don't want to break that seal I just want to leave it as it is if it's dead then I will open it if it works then I just want to leave this I know it's total nerd stuff but um yeah I'm, I'm gonna power this on before i disassemble it so uh, that's not something i do very often all right the commodore 64 is plugged on with a known working psu so let's power it on after so many years guys we got a uh, what? isn't this just incredible 1991 <laughs> I love these machines now my channel um, it's maybe 80% about Amiga and 20% about everything else Commodore 64 Commodore 120 at pinball machines and all that but I really love this machine because um, it was my first computer I had a white one with white keyboard uh, a bread bin model um, so I'm looking for that one. Uh, all the other bread pins I have are brown. I did not have that. So I measured this and uh, plug one says 5.01 volts. So that's great. And uh, plug five says 12.32 volts. So that's all right. So I just uh, plugged it in and uh, I'm going to turn it on for the first time. I haven't disassembled anything. I just want to try this one out. So first first try <laughs> Where's the plug? Oh, please All right. So um, Load something Here goes nothing just made uh, yeah something's wrong I have to okay I will open this and take a look right these four screws I just unscrew it at the bottom of it so let's see so uh, as you can see it's uh, upside down here I think it's the drive for the for the head that's stuck Sony I'm looking for some production dates. Oh, we got the, just like the 1541, you can um, adjust if it should be comma eight or comma nine. I don't really see any production dates, I don't know. Before I disassembled it, this one was uh, stuck 
and I just moved it really really gentle uh, this is on the other side the, the head that's that moves back and forth you know when it reads and it was stuck and as you can see here I have to clean this metal bracket just like on the 1541 I think on the other side it's got two of these rails but I don't know I don't know this drive I don't know when it's from it should just be faster so um, now it, it it runs all right so I will before I disassemble I will just uh, I will um, plug it in and see now this one says what 20 25th December 2001 no that can't be 2001 that's incredible no <laughs> What does this time say? That says 23rd of December 2001. What? This must be something. Uh, something is wrong because I don't think they made these two Commodore 64 drives in 2001. So I don't know. It doesn't matter. So uh, I just moved this back and forward. So let's just uh, check it out again. I don't know if you can use a Commodore 64 drive on backwards, but I'm gonna try it. go. Alright, so uh, two seconds guys, I'm not the fastest to... Oh, come on, please, work. <laughs> yes, it moved. It moved for a second. I just want to sh see if this drive is that much faster as the seller said. Okay, it can read now. Oh, um, there we go. hope this one moves now okay it moved for a second but I'm not getting no error codes error messages but it just moved one click oh there we go it moved again hmm. it should move a lot more you know <laughs> But let's uh, wait for a couple of minutes because it takes about two, three, four minutes to load this game. So, um, move, goddammit. Oh, what? As you can see, I'm not using no uh, fast load. Oh my god, that's fast. All right. That's nice, guys. Um, all right. <laughs> uh, maybe he was right. Okay. So, if you guys know what this drive is called, please write it down in the comments down below. Uh, give me a link so I can read something about it because um, it's it's really s slim model, you know. Um, the PSU is ice cold, <laughs> and it does. Uh, and the um, 512 volt is uh, really um, it, it perfect as it should be. And I am in love with this drive. So uh, please let me get some info because uh, I just I googled <laughs> I just googled uh, Commodore 64 disk drive, and all I'm getting is the you know 51 40, 40, 1541 and the dash 2 model and all that but if you know anything guys just uh, just let me know um, man it's fast i mean <laughs> i'm impressed i just turned it around and took off the top cover let's just review this thing the proper way it works fine let's look at it on the top side also as i mentioned earlier 
this one, uh, the drive here, runs on uh, two rails that I need to that I need to clean. Um, you can see it down here, but it's not that dusty inside. It looks it looks nice. I mean, the head even looks clean. You can see it's a single sided head, to a single sided drive. Um, works all fine. So. Um, this is how it, this is how it looks inside, and I don't even know what what's it called. Nothing is <laughs> written inside, so I can't just I can't even give you a name, guys. But uh, yeah, very small circuit board here and uh, here and on the bottom side also. Um, nice, I mean, great drive. I will uh, give it some grease on the drive here and uh, clean the head and. Other than that, I think I will uh, use this one as my main drive because uh, it's slim design. It's it seems faster. I'm I'm not sure yet, but uh, I'm really positive about it. It, it. It's just great. It has been running for about 30 minutes, and the um, the PSU is still ice cold. <laughs> it's like it's not even on. And I have tried some different games and this one definitely loads faster. And also, some of the games that didn't work on my old uh, Commodore 64 discs works now. So I can play, I mean, I have uh, maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know, a couple of hundred discs, but I, was, most of them didn't load. And some of them loaded one of the games or two of the games, but this one Everything I gave it, it just loads and it's fast, it just works. And the Commodore 64 is also fine and the SID chips work, so super nice day, I'm, I'm really happy. <laughs>